this is Annie Manning from Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions. Today in Photoshop, we're going to do a little edit using the brand new set of actions, Fresh Wonderland 2. This is available for Elements and Photoshop users. Again, these are brand, brand new to Photoshop, and it's called Fresh Wonderland 2. And we are going to use uh, Wham Bam on this image. It's one of my favorite new actions and is a fabulous, clean process look, very bright, uh, very pretty. And I love it because it works on a wide variety of images. So we're going to quickly run that on this image and do a couple of little adjustments if needed at the end. And then we're going to add just a little bit of color at the end. And uh, we are done here. And the first thing I would probably do is click on the Open Up Shadows layer and open up those shadows just a little bit. It got a little bit too dark in the hair. We got a little bit too muddy there. And I might also just click on the Contrast Boost layer here and grab my brush, uh, my black brush and paint over her hair a little bit here just so that contrast isn't so strong on her hair. Her hair was already very, very dark and close to being clipped, uh, which means you're losing all the detail in it. And so I'm just going to paint back over that contrast layer there with the black, which hides it on your layer masks. Uh, you want to remember that white reveals, black conceals, so I'm painting with black to conceal that. And this is before and this is after. Very nice, bright, clean process look. I'm going to flatten that. And then I'm going to use from the same Fresh Wonderland 2 set, Blooming Color. And I'm just going to add just a touch of color. I'm going to select my brush tool and I'm going to hit D so I get my default colors, which gives me white for my paintbrush. And I'm going to click on my white right bracket to grab a bigger brush size and I'm just going to paint over uh, the surrounding areas around her. Do not touch skin with this one. This one would quickly take her to neon orange. And you can turn it up or down as you want to. That's before and after. Nice pretty blooming color on that from Fresh Wonderland 2. And then for a final touch, I'm going to run Paint in the Dark. I like to use this one. You can do this to darken up areas that are too bright. And it's also great for creating a more natural looking vignette on your image, just darkening the edges. But doing so where it's you don't see a lot of vignettes will create that round circle where you got the corners really dark. And it's um, kind of, uh, in my opinion, it's kind of an amateur look to have um, that kind of darkening where you can really see the round image or the round burned edges on it. So I like to use this one. Um, and also another really fun one I love is the Rockstar vignette in the Photoshop version of Moxie. It's a really fun one to get a really natural vignette going. You don't, you don't even know it's there. It's doing something to kind of put more focus on your image um, or your subject, uh, but you don't really know why that's happening. Whereas a, vin a regular vignette, can be a lot of times, especially when I, I see a lot of people when they start out using vignettes on their images and it's, it's the first thing you notice on their image is, oh, a vignette. Okay, so this one here, we select our white paintbrush here and select the layer mask here on the deep end layer. And just kind of, that's way too dark, I'll adjust that in a second, and just kind of brush in around her hair to create more focus on her. And that's, like I said, it's way too dark, so we're going to lower the opacity on that to about 30%. And you can see before and after, very subtle. And you don't really notice that there's a vignette going on there, but it's there and it focuses on her a little bit more. And it's very natural and pretty. And so that's our uh, basic, very quick edit using Fresh Wonderland 2, now available for Photoshop and Elements. And I thank you very much for uh, listening to me again, and I hope you have a fabulous day.